Hi, everybody. As you may already know, Athabasca University has some pretty amazing teams dedicated to supporting learners and providing resources to help them succeed. Well, in order to help our learners find and access the support available to them, I'm really pleased to announce the creation of a new website. Uh, it's called Support Services. Let me give you a tour. Welcome to Support Services, a one-stop source for learners to get the assistance they need. The site acts as a portal and provides access to seven different student services. First, let's take a look at accessibility services. Accessibility services offers assistance to learners with permanent disabilities or those experiencing temporary medical conditions that require academic accommodations. Here, students are able to check if they're eligible for accommodations and learn more about the accommodation process. Next, students can learn about the different accessibility services available to them, including course and exam support. Finally, Accessibility Services offers information about possible sources of funding for students with disabilities. The program and course advising teams help future and current AU learners navigate their career path, plan out course and program selection, and get help with transferring credit for past experience towards credit at AU. In the Education and Career Planning section, learners have access to tools and assessments to help them define a career path and the education it will take to get them there. In this section, future AU students can explore information about programs and get the answers to the most commonly asked questions people have before starting at AU. Unlike the previous section, this section offers help to current program and non-program students. As you might expect, the Financial Aid and Awards section is the best place to find information about financial aid, such as student loans, but also student awards, like scholarships and bursaries. In the first section, learn all about financial aid, including topics such as eligibility, requirements, how to apply, and managing a student loan. In the next section, Learners can view all the student awards available in the Awards Finder. Finally, if you have a question about scholarships or bursaries, chances are you can find the answer in the FAQ. In the Tutoring and Learning Support section, you can get information about AU's unique academic support model of having tutors and academic experts available to assist learners through courses. Also, this section features guides and tutorials that will help learners improve study skills and time management techniques. In the first section, students can learn more about the role of tutors and academic experts in their courses and how to contact them. In the second section, learn how to improve your study skills with various resources. In the last section, Study-related resources have been hand-picked by the counseling team that will help learners in their academic journey. Now, before I show you the other sections on the site, back when we were brainstorming ideas for features that we wanted the support services site to have, one thing that seemed really crucial was an easy way for students to find contact information. One way we have achieved this is through the Our Teams page. To find this page, we go to Support Services in the menu, we click on it, and we open Our Teams. Now on this page, as you would expect, we have a list of the different teams that comprise Support Services. Simply clicking or opening one of the teams 
gives us the different names of the people that work there, as well as their contact information. Another way for learners to get support is by clicking the Get in Touch button. You'll see this all throughout the Support Services website. This will take you to the Contact Support Services page. On this page, first we have the Ask AU search bar. This is a great resource for answers to commonly asked questions. Now let's look at the next section. Here you'll find the hours of operation and phone numbers for the AU Information Centre, the Student Support Centre in the Faculty of Business, the Student Success Centre in the Faculty of Science and Technology, and the Technical Services Call Centre. Further down the page, we have an area with a link to the Student Support Service Portal for undergraduate students. In the portal, you can create support tickets, which will be answered by representatives in the AU Information Center. Finally, there is a form you can fill out that will be forwarded to the applicable team related to your request. Let's go back now and look at the other sections of the Support Services website. The Exam Services Support section guides learners through the process of preparing for requesting, and writing exams. Here, students can learn how to book exams, prepare for exams, how to write exams in person or by using the online invigilation service, find exam locations, and finally, arrange for exam invigilators. The Mental Health and Wellness section provides AU learners with programs and resources related to mental health and well-being. Here, students can find information about AU wellness programs such as Talk Campus or Homewood Health, get helpful external resources, and finally, get contact information for getting help when in crisis and in need of urgent care. The last section of support services is technical support. Studying online can sometimes come with technical challenges, and this section provides resources and guidelines for issues most encountered by AU learners. This includes eText, Office 365 for students, Moodle, help for logging in to MyAU, information about accessing the T2202 tax form, and finally, web conferencing, such as Microsoft Teams. That brings us to the end of our tour. We really believe support services will improve the experience of AU learners by giving them an easy way to find the help they need. For any feedback you'd like to provide, please email the digital and web operations team in University Relations at web underscore services at athabascau.ca.